Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's that boy G Flans. Don't give a damn. He cooler than the fan. Walking real tall. Some say he's a man. Dude, bro. Yeah, we, we, got, we got here in Baton Rouge. So everything going, man. What's up with it? It's good, bro. Nigga here. I'm free. I can't complain, you know. You in my city, baby. Now, oh, we, we, we been supposed to do this a long time ago, you feel me? Right. But ever since then, everybody been working. I see you still working. Everybody, I've been working. Right. You know, how's everything going for you? What's going on with you? Informing the people. What's up with you? How you say, my nigga? I've been working, bro. I've been going overtime lately, bro. I've been just trying to keep my movement going, you hear me? Mm -hmm. It's a lot of shit. It's been down. It's been up. But I'm still here. I'm hanging in there. I just dropped another... Uh, I dropped two, three videos just recently, man. You check them out on YouTube. They're tired of living bad. Yeah. I just dropped that uh that old law. That's off that stick talk freestyle. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got some shit I done with my Detroit niggas out there. Uh, I saw you up there. Yeah, man. So I, I've been working, bro. I've been trying to get the ball more going because, you know, I'm putting more, investing more into myself, you know. Just investing more into myself and get that bitch off the ground, my nigga. I I'm really running my own record label, OA Camp G's, man. That's Outlaws and Kings Music Group. So I'm just building my little brand and doing what I can with, with, with what I what I got to work with, you heard? I feel you, I feel you. So we, what, where are we located? What, what neighborhood are we in right now? You in Glen Oaks right now, man. OAK, Silverleaf America. You right out of Silverleaf. I'm in the bank right now, just ducked off. But you right here in Glen Oaks, man. All right, now. Fucking with the landlord, Silverleaf landlord, nigga. Like, oh. Yeah. Like, how was it like, how was it like growing up in the I ain't lying, it was straight, it was straight. I had my ups, my downs, I had my shell fights, you know, the gunfire, the club shit. Man, Rouge ain't no easy city for no nigga to come up in, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta be built. You gotta you gotta have a mind frame. You gotta know what's going on when you coming up fucking with them in the streets and shit. Yeah. But my come up was straight, bro. I come up under my nigga Le Hand fucking with the rap shit. We had a hell of a movement going off that leaf. He died, him and my brother died in the car wreck 2004. Right. So I really, that would really push me into jumping into the rap game to really fuck with it, keep my dog and let him alive in the block. Mm -hmm. But uh, in the midst of that come up, my nigga, it's been, it's been just tribulation, bro. But it's all about how you bounce back from them bitches, how you stand up on them bitches. You can't let nothing break. Ain't nothing break me. I'm still here. Stop my nigga's still here. We still here. So, and you know, a nigga made the best of it. I'm here, you heard? I'm here, you heard? Like, how long have you been making music? Like, when did you decide, like, well, I'm about to, I'm a really, besides 2004, like, I'm gonna I'm do everything. Like, when did, when did you start? See, I boy, it would make me, hey, I bullshit you not. I ain't got none of them old rap stories. Them man, he was beating on the table and that ain't my, that ain't my situation, you hear me? I ain't come up with that, I ain't never really want to rap. I ain't even no attention type nigga. I be cool and I like to play the back, so that rap shit with me, but, I told you my dog, he was doing it. Rap Hustling was his first CD, Le Handy. He died for the Rap Hustling CD drop. So we had a lot of, I was on that basketball shit. I had Hoop Dream, NBA, I, you know. What school you play for? I played for Glones High, right here in the hood. I moved on to some other shit too. I down there went pro fucking with him. But I say that to say, uh, them niggas died in 2004, and they kind of fucked the whole little click up, kind of broke us up a little bit, the little dreams and plans we had. Niggas wanted mansions, niggas wanted this. I was gonna be in the league, he was gonna be doing that. So everything went different ways. That, that hoop shit slowed down, it was all about the money. So I just got to fucking with the music, trying to keep my dog name alive, you hear me? Mm -hmm. I say about 2006, about 2005, I got to playing with it, playing with it, but I couldn't really get it going. And I got to fuck around playing in the studio. I say about 2006, I really got serious with it. I really got serious and took off. So you, I'm looking at 11, 11, 12 years strong, my nigga. I ain't just, you know what I'm saying? I ain't just start. And let's I get this straight. I don't want to cut you off. But I, you, you are the first money bag. Yeah, no, really. Yeah, yeah really. Like, like, don't get me wrong. The whole world, you know, we know about money bag, yo. I like yeah, all that stuff. Yeah. You know, ain't no nothing. Salute. But when you hear money bag, they gonna say money bag. Yo, ah, we talking about money bag. Yeah, the original thing, Yo. the real deal. Yeah, that's me, man. You can't forgive me. You can't sleep on me, man. You know where I come from. You know, I done a lot of shit. You know, 09, 08, man. You, you know my music from Boosie. They know my music from Boosie, so oh, yeah. that name stamped. And uh, me and Boo go back since we were little, man. I got to fuck with him hard in the rap game about 09. And once I plugged with him, I really went serious. I took it to another level, you know. I never forget my first show I went to with that nigga. 
That nigga, I had a time of my life in that bitch, you heard me? Just running, just hanging with the nigga. And he be been my dogs who were little. But this is my first time fucking with him on the rap side. And you know, he doing this shit he already been doing. So, uh, I go to the first show. I had a time of my life with this nigga, you know, bottles, you know, blunts, the whole nine. Yeah. So we leave that bitch, I seen my dog get about 30 grand cash, about 30 hard bitches. Yeah. And, and, and more than anything, I had fun, but I'm thinking to myself like, damn, I had this much fun, I'm thinking to myself, I know he had fun. Yeah. We, ain't, we, this was a blast and you got paid this type of, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So in my mind, I'm just like, if I put my mind to it, I go hard. I could eat off this shit till my whole goal was to get some, a bag off this shit. I wanted to eat my scene my nigga getting that kind of money. Yeah. I wanted to build my little shit up and get me some kind of money like that, you heard? I, hey, I understand that. And I was about to mention I was just about to mention that because yeah, we know people who are familiar with money bags, I know you from Boosie and the whole badass ENT. Like right now, or are, are, are you still with the badass in ENT? If not, or, I mean what's going on with that? Nah, nah, I really ain't affiliated with them, bro. I'm kind of in my own lane, do my own thing. It ain't no bad blood, ain't nothing go wrong with me or boo. Me and that nigga ain't have no, ain't no problem or nothing. It's just more of a, you know, me having to get it on my own. Kind of, kind of, kind of build your own brand, do your thing. And kind of, you know, you know, kind of show people you can do this shit too without just trying to be a, without just trying to be a, a, a what I want to say, like a, just a, a little robbing, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Batman and Robin, you just, the nigga just wanna, you know, just one hook, one feature, yeah. you know, really get into this shit. Cause I got niggas on this side mm -hmm. who really depending on me, who like look up to me kinda, waiting well, you know, on me to jump off to open some doors. So, you know, it was more of me just having to boss up and, and you know, make some moves to get a bag, you know? I feel you on that, man. But I wanna, t I wanna say this, I, I say this to a lot of artists. Man, I've been in bad rules a lot lately covering this 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 city with talent it's like every week every day it's a new person coming yeah. and and i want to mention this too like it's like back then i'm gonna say you webby boosted mr kane percy key i can say nussie i say kevin gates it was like it had a your old school generation of rappers and then it was like went stale for a while now it's nah, like, you got young NBA, niggas. you got yeah, young boy, you yeah. got YBs and J. Lewis, you got a whole bunch of a whole yeah. other generation of rappers. Yeah, true. Like and, and you was like you like true. a like an OG father to these guys basically because I see I see you with them all the time. Picture, I'm just starting to realize that too though. You yeah. heard me? I realize them niggas young, them niggas thug and them niggas do kinda look at me like an OG. But I'm young and thug and just like them little niggas, yeah. I ain't lying, but I am OG, I'm more, you know, I've been here, done that, I am a little older than them niggas, but I salute all them niggas, I like all them niggas from my city who really trying to do something and get that bag. But I'm noticing them niggas do, you know, I'm more like OG to the game, and the ones I fuck with like that, that I do personally know, I don't do nothing but get game, you know, I don't do nothing but tell a nigga something that go get them some money, tell a nigga something that go better them, you know, so... You can sound like OG to a lot of them the niggas, though. A lot of them the niggas, too, who came up, I kind of knew them before they blew. Mm -hmm. And them niggas know I ain't, you know, I'm a real nigga, ain't no hating bone on me. So for the see them come from where they came from and the way they at, I kinda, I, I'm happy for the nigga. I salute you, you know what I'm saying? I don't get nothing motivated off and feel like it's your turn, baby. You overdue.